Hey guys, Dominic from Genuine Assholes, and it's not quite the Oscars, you know what it is, it's the 2017 Golden Globes. They're not as good as the Oscars, but they're pretty good, I don't get as excited. If it was the Oscars, I'd be wearing a wig, you know, for the event, but I didn't, instead I wore this and these fancy sunglasses that I borrowed from my brother. I got this bottle of Mini Moet, ooh, a Mini Moet, uh, but I'm gonna try to give a quick predictions list. I wasn't going to do all the categories, but I'm just going to run through them. I'm going to do all of them. So let's start. Bottom of my list of what we got. The best performance by an actress in a supporting role. Uh, series, limited series or motion picture made for television. I'm going to go with Chrissy Metz from This Is Us. Uh, I'm going to try not to play favorites at all. I would have said maybe Lena Headey from Game of Thrones, but it's going to be Chrissy Metz from This Is Us. Alright, we're going to move right along. Best performance by an actor by an actor in a limited series motion picture made for television, blah, blah, blah. it's going to be John Travolta, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, or it might be Sterling K. Brown from The People vs. O.J. Simpson, but I think, and I hope it's going to be John Travolta, because he deserves it, I mean, he's got a bad rap for the last few years, you know, Les Miserables, Les Miserables, alright, moving right along, best performance by an actress in a limited series or motion picture, the same one? No, that was supporting. I did supporting. Okay, this is best. I'm going to go with Sarah Paulson from The People versus O.J. Simpson. I think she's a shoe in for that one. Best performance by an actor in a limited series. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We're going to go with, we're going to go with that. You know what? I'm going to go with that Courtney B. Vance guy from The People versus O.J. Simpson too, because I think, I think they're going to sweep that shit. They're going to do it. All right. Next up, best performance by an actress in a television series, musical, or comedy. I'm going to go with Julia Louis-Dreyfus for Veep because I, I think she, she always wins. She's going to win again. All right, best performance by an actor in a television series, musical, or comedy is going to be Donald Glover for Atlanta. All right, moving right along. Now, I haven't seen all of this stuff, I will admit, but I'm just going with my gut on what, you know, and I'm trying to, like I said, trying to keep my, my own personal opinion out of it, just what I think is going to win. Best performance by an actor in television series or drama. And I think that's going to be Rami Malek from Mr. Robot. I think he's a shoe in again. Uh, best performance by an actress in television series drama. I think it's going to be Winona Ryder for Stranger Things. Best television limited series or motion picture made for television. And I think that's going to go to People vs. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Best television series, musical, or comedy, I think Veep is going to take that one. Best television series, drama, I would say Stranger Things, but I don't think Stranger Things is going to get it. I think it's going to be Westworld by HBO. All right. Best original score, motion picture. Okay, here's where we get into the heart of this stuff. I think it's going to be Justin Hurwitz for La La Land. I loved it, and I think that's what's going to win. It's going to be that. Okay, moving right along. Best screenplay. Ooh, the stuff I really like. Best screenplay motion picture. I think it's going to be Taylor Sheridan for Hell or High Water. Best motion picture animated. It's going to be Kobo and the Two Strings. Best performance by an actress in a supporting role in any motion picture is going to be Viola Davis for Fences. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role any motion picture is going to be blah, 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 that Mar Harashala Ali from Moonlight. I don't know. I just feel like it's that guy. All right. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture, comedy, or musical. I'm going to say Emma Stone for La La Land. That might not be, but I'm going to say Emma Stone for La La Land. Next up, best performance by an actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Uh, I'm going to do the duo there. I'm going to do Ryan Gosling, La La Land. All right, moving along. Best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. I'm going to give this one to Casey Affleck for Manchester by the Sea. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture drama. It is going to be Natalie Portman for Jackie. It's going to be her. Okay. Best director, motion picture. Best director. I'm going to go with my boy Damien Chazelle for La La Land. I just, I think he's going to get it. I think so. All right. Best motion picture, musical or comedy? La La Land. They're going to sweep all that shit. I'm telling you. Best motion picture, drama, Manchester by the Sea. I think it's going to be Manchester by the Sea. And I think that is all the nominations. I'm not 100%. I could be wrong. 
but let me know what you guys think. The time is ticking, the clock is ticking. I got my shades on, I wish I had a wig I could just slap on, but I don't. So instead, I'll put on this hat. Get ready, get set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, yeah, I dress for the occasion, uh, but what you don't know is that I am not wearing any pants. I'm actually in my underwear right now, so I really know I am. But check out the other videos, check out the sketches, let me know what your predictions are, let me, let you know if, let me know if I'm way off, and no, I am not on drugs, so thanks for watching, check out the other videos, and subscribe, guys.